Hello, it is Megan the Trainer, Registered Dietitian, coming at you today for another Nourish to Flourish segment. And today I am going to talk about one of the biggest mistakes that I often see when working with clients when it comes to behavior change from a nutrition perspective. And so this mistake honestly has nothing to do directly with nutrition, but yet has everything to do with it. What? And this mistake is that you're doing a million things or that you have to do everything if you're looking to change um, some of your habits with food. So what I mean by that is sometimes if we haven't been doing things that we maybe want to and we want to change up our habits, change up our lifestyle when it comes to food, we feel like we have to monitor our water intake. We have to do something different with our protein. We have to eat more veggies. We have to eat more fruits. We have to eat more fiber. We have to pull back on the sweets. We have to do this, 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 this. And the list just goes on and on and on and on and on of all of the things that we're looking to change to live a different lifestyle. Now, although all of those things are important, yes, we do need to be mindful of our hydration. We do need to be mindful of our protein intake. But it can be extremely overwhelming to look at this laundry list of things that you need need to do. And it can then also feel really unmotivating because that's really that's really daunting. That's a lot. So my biggest tip to you to overcome this mistake of feeling like you have to do everything all the time is start somewhere and focus on just one thing. Pick one thing to work on. And that one thing is enough. We don't have to do everything. So maybe just focus on your water. Just focus on adding more fruits and vegetables. Just focus on X, Y, Z thing. Write down a list of all the things that you think you could improve and pick the one that you think is going to give you the most bang for your buck initially. Don't worry about kind of some of these other piddly things um, when it comes to nutrition, but really find some of those big, heavy hitters that are going to make a big impact right away and focus on that instead so that way you can actually feel motivated and keep yourself accountable to working on it instead of feeling burnt out and then stopping and giving up and falling off the wagon again so again usually that is the biggest mistake that I often see again that's not actually connected to anything nutritional related directly but obviously will impact it now this can also be true outside of the nutrition realm even if you're looking to add other healthy habits into your daily routine So again, just pick something, start somewhere and start small. Sometimes we feel like we have to go like all the way big. We have to take the biggest risk, the biggest shot. But yet at the same time, some of these little things are still just as important and just as foundational um, to have set up. So now that you know better, let's go ahead and do better so we can all be better.